<laughs> All right. Hello and welcome to the Gallant Goblin Place Blood on the Clock Tower. This is the day after the big Houston storm. Uh, those of us located in Houston uh, may or may not have gotten much sleep last night. And we're playing <laughs> Sex and Violets. So this is bound to go very well. Uh, this week we're joined by, joined with, joined by, I've already lost it, Philip. Oh, hello. Um, I contributed with Alex to uh, Tianxia, but I'm mostly just here to play Blood on the Clock Tower. SMD is by far my favorite script, so I'm very much looking to cook up something utterly deranged. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Philip. We're also joined by Mask and Ryan Terry. <laughs> Mask is the important one. The yeah, no. Mask is going to play today. We, we, we oh. need, yeah, we need at least two tokens. Uh, one for me and one for me. <laughs> Uh, I think we all want to feel like Mask right now. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a twin pairing. Yeah. yeah. And Alex. Hi, my name's Elise, and you can find me at Elise Elixir. I'm just kidding. I'm not. <laughs> Even got the name wrong. Elixir Elise. Yeah. I know. Oh, that's how you put it. I know. Uh, <laughs> so we're not twins. I was gonna say, well, that's the evil twin right there. That's the yeah. yeah. No, that's too. Uh, I'm Alex Tian Sha, not Alicia's evil twin. <laughs> and Morgan. <laughs> Hello. And Victory Bell. Hi. And Writings. Hello. Uh, if you wish to see other hijinks of the Blood on the Clock Tower variety or learn more about independent film, come check us out at uh, Hitlist Video, where all the various socials. Sweet. And Eric. Hey, what's up? I'm a one-time kickball champion. So if you want to see me play kickball, come out to the fields in Houston sometime. Hell yeah. Hey! hey. 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 Micah Draws. Uh, hi, this is Vafels Von Vodka the Third, uh, the vampire wizard ferret. And uh, mm. speaking of vampires, if you go to Kickstarter and look up my Monster Men coloring book, you can get a coloring book that has uh, a hot vampire, among other things. <laughs> And if so, Grady's still in the chat, out. maybe Grady can go grab that uh, link for us. Uh, and Jesse. Hello. And Helza. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> sick today. <laughs> You're sick today? Oh. Well, thank you. For no, no, no. That's oh. it for today. Oh, that's it for today. Like, I was like, oh, no. I don't feel like doing a blur, any blurb. <laughs> that's fair. And oh, Elixir Elise. Laughing. Oh, kitty. Hello. Yes, you can find me on Twitch and YouTube if you like Clock Tower and want to see me play very not optimal plays. Uh, yeah, anyway, thank you. What's <laughs> optimal plays when you can have fun? Uh, exactly. Cat boy, you're yeah. made up stage, but lots of actual cats today. Mm. Oh no, I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> I hear you. No. <laughs> All right. I am Cat boy. So today, yeah, mine's sitting on his little prince pillow around the bend. He's just oh, sitting there all comfy. My kitty straw don't serve pet. Grady, I think. But yes, today we are playing the classic core script, Sex and Violets. Uh, I thought this was a good opportunity for us to kind of just go through some of the fundamentals, uh, things to do with like madness and some of the more interesting uh, outsiders out there. So, and four of the classic demons as well. So lots of fun to be had, I think, on the script. So I'm gonna go ahead and hand out our tokens. Keep in mind that there are 12 players here. So we should be expecting seven townsfolk, two outsiders, two minions and a demon. And go grab our tokens and yeah, it saved them. Here we go, passing them out. All right, so take a look at that, and I will send you all into the night phase. Have a good night, everybody. Night. It feels like... Yeah, you don't sleep for one night and suddenly you forget how to do everything in your life. Let's make sure I'm muted. Okay, let's go through uh, our grimoire here and see what we have going on. Everybody should be pretty familiar at this point. We've done more than 20 games, so I'm not going to go over every single role, but we have Elise, uh, I think, as... Well, they've been a demon at least partway through the game, I think, but now they get to be the demon from the start. Vic and Mortis, each night, choose a player, they die, minions, you kill, keep their ability, and poison one townsfolk neighbor. And... They get a pretty strong team here in writings, our pit hag and victory bell, our evil twin. So we're gonna figure out what we want to do with that. Um, I might do Catboy, I think would be fun. 
the victory bell. Um, just for the lols, I think that's pretty good. Uh, thank you for subscribing, Grady, with Prime. I didn't know you had Prime. That might be my Prime. I don't know. Um, but I appreciate that. Uh, what other setup do we need to do? We have Philip our Sage. Oh, we haven't had too many Sages in this one. If the demon kills you, you learn that it's one of two players. Uh, we have our Oracle up here, our Clock Master, who is going to learn. So Clock Master, you start knowing how many steps between the demon to the nearest minion. Oh, uh, it's quite a few steps, isn't it? One, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So five, if I'm counting correctly. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So Clockmaker five, pretty rare there. I uh, wonder what Alice is going to make of that. Kind of sounds a little bit like a Warpoxy situation to me. Uh, Morgan, our Philosopher. Uh, Evil Twin, our Pit Hag, our Sweetheart. Oh, Eric gets to be the Sweetheart. Our juggler, our dreamer, our mathematician. Oh, so let's let's go do this first. There's nothing that really. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna talk to Chat and Helza at the same time. So let's go do this. Happy New Year. Hi, Helza. I'm sorry oh, I pulled you away from a conversation. No, it's fine. Don't worry. Uh, nothing bad has happened to you already. I don't normally wake the mathematician on night one, but I was just gonna talk to you. Because... Yeah. yeah. No, I, I was just gonna talk to you because. This is the first time that I have run the mathematician in my right. games. And right. because I have been kind of terrified with the mathematician, it feels like a little bit of a tricky role to keep up with. So I was just going to touch I'd base say with so. you. Yeah. Um, yes, I was thinking that it says since dawn, so I didn't think I'd get woken up tonight. And uh, yeah, you, you're you going to have to keep on, on top of that. And I, I just have to write the numbers down, so it's not so bad. That's true. I was going to tell me. you too. Um, yeah that if you ever have any questions about what would be considered a an error, you know, oh, you know feel yeah, free to come normal. and talk to me. Yeah, yeah so just be able to, right. each night you learn Thank how many you. players, yeah, how many players' abilities we're yeah. going to have normally due to another player's ability. That's the kind of key there. Right, due to another player's ability. So yes, all right. All right. Well, I don't know. Um, so like if somebody's right. poisoned and they get true information, it's not a malfunction. But if they get false oh, information, yes. it is. So I was yes, basically telling yeah. you, if you ever have questions about it, feel free to come talk to me. Uh, Thank you and, very much. Yeah, and how I rule it, because I don't know if I'm going to do it exactly correctly, but I'm going to do my level best for you. <laughs> okay, thanks. Yeah, it'll be fun. I think so. <laughs> I keep pulling people out of their conversations with folks. Um, no, that's fine. It's about time I got the demon. <clears throat> yes. Uh, I'm nervous, but... All right. Well, you're here and supported by a good team. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. And just based on the fact that both you and Writings are recording your perspectives, I think it'll be interesting because Writings is one of your minions. Oh, yes. <laughs> your other, yes. <laughs> your other minion is Victory Bell. Oh, fantastic. Okay, well, um, I'm excited to work together with this team. And Writings and I and Victory Bell and I are going to dominate and win this game. I think so, too. Um, and I will tell you your bluffs. Uh, yes, please. Hopefully they're ones you can have a little fun with. I'm giving you Snake Charmer, Flower Girl, and Artist. Okay. How do you feel <laughs> about those? I'm really nervous, honestly. Um, I... I don't know. I feel like I don't want any of them, but I will stick with it and do my best. Uh... Cool. Thank you'll, you very much. Maybe able to suss out a few other things that are not in play. Yeah, I don't know. I, we're going to wing it. Yeah. Uh, I'm extremely nervous, but that's uh, it's the excitement of getting the demon token, I think. That's true. So. And there's some fun things you can do with a snake charmer bluff, so I'll let y'all mull over that a little bit. Good luck. Hello. Hey, are you excited about this? Yeah, I like the pit hag. Pit hag can be fun. I'm, you're, I think your friends are going to start thinking I have a, like... Like, I am an evil detector. Like, yeah. they'll be like, oh, writing is, is sus. I love evil <laughs> magnet. You, you pull those red tokens to you. Uh, but you got a good yeah. team here with you. Your fellow minion is Victory Bell. And. Oh, you, wait, you said minion is Victory Bell? Yes. Okay. And your demon is Elise. <laughs> oh, dear. Either this will be an, an, a very interesting game, or it'll be a very quick, fiery game. I uh, I hopes so either way. Yeah. Oh, I hadn't I hadn't considered the two of us being on the same yeah. team. I I was like, all right, 
I could see. I was like, after last time we played, I was like, I kind of want to be on Eric's team, and then I was like, oh, uh, then I was like, ooh, that, that her and I would probably be a gnarly team up as well. So it'll be interesting. It's always fun to be evil with Eric. Uh, yeah. Sweet. Oh, and hey, we've got um, some fun folks in chat out there as well. And oh, who I happen to know who that is. Hello, I chat. don't know if they want me to say who they are. So I want to say hi. We know who you are. <laughs> All Hello, right. chat. Thank you, Rydens. I'll be checking yep. in with you. Good luck. All righty. Bye-bye. Hello. Hi there. How do you feel about this? Uh, first time. So I can walk is there a good twin? Yeah, so let me walk this through with you because we haven't done twins maybe only once or twice here at the Gatling Goblin. Is it like the grandmother? Uh, it's, a it's little bit. Character? Yeah, a little bit. So uh, you and an opposing okay. player will know each other. Uh, and if the good player is executed, which is not you, then evil wins. And good can't win while you both live. So basically, the town is going to have to execute one of you uh, before the end of this game. Um, they're going to have to make a choice. And if they made the wrong choice, they basically lost. Um, and so your good twin is Catboy. So you and Catboy are twins. He's good, you're evil. Uh, you no, know that... Catboy know that they're yeah. a twin? Yeah, Catboy's going to be told that Victory Bell is your evil twin. Mm. So, few things. You know that Catboy is the seamstress. Okay? So, you're going to be wanting to also bluff seamstress. You're both going to be bluffing. You're both going to be seamstresses in this game. Uh, so, yeah, keep that in mind. You're a seamstress for this game. So... Um, you can decide how you want to bluff that, but that is pretty much your bluff for this game. You know, there's other ways to play it, but pretty much that's what you're going to want to do. You're both going to just be seamstresses, and it's going to be up to town to figure out which one of you is real and which one of you is bluffing. Okay? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Do you have any questions so far? Um, okay. Do I know my demon, demon and minions? Yeah. Sorry, I haven't given you that part. Yeah. Uh, yes, your demon is Elise. And your fellow minion is writings. Oh, just only two minions, huh? Uh, two minions and a demon in this one. So um, the other thing I was going to tell you, uh, the way evil twins work. So sometimes uh, it can be a little bit of a frustrating game for the twin pair because people don't tend to trust you um, and you might not get into so many chats. People might not share anything with you. So what I would recommend is before... Yeah, it's up to you. But before anybody uh, announces to town, like, I'm the good twin, Catboy's the evil twin, you might just want to go into a chat with Catboy, like a private chat, and say, like, how do we want to play this? Because you don't have to come out with it day one. If y'all want to wait for a couple of days and come out with it later in the game, you're perfectly able to do that. If you want to come out right off the bat, you can. But if you want to kind of hold on to that to make sure that you both of you get a chance to really interact in the game, y'all can do that too. Does that make sense? I can't tell if, that, <laughs> if, you're, if you're catching what I'm telling you. Does that make sense? At some point, you're probably going to want to come out and be like, hey, Catboy's the evil twin. You need to murder him. You know, because mm. uh, you're going to be wanting to claim Catboy's the evil twin and you're the good twin, right? Mm -hmm. um, but you don't have to do that right away if you don't want to. If y'all want to meet up and discuss how you want to handle it, you can do that. If you want to wait a couple of days to come out, it's up to y'all is basically what I'm saying. But I just want it to be as good of a game for both of you as possible, if that makes sense. I'm going to tell Catboy the same thing that I'm telling you. Okay. 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 Do you have any questions? I think I'm... No. I've got to gotta think about it. i got to read the... Uh... Yeah, go read the wiki. Uh, see what it yeah. says. And then just, yeah. I would I would recommend talking to Catboy before you'll say anything publicly, but it's up to you. Okay. Good luck. Hello. Hey, Morgan. You're the philosopher. One of the best abilities in the game. Yeah, I could be anybody. Mm -hmm. You could take any job you want because um, you went and got a high flute and pipe and got a high paying education. Do you yeah. want to use it today? Uh, do I need to use it today or can it wait? You can wait. Of course, you always run the risk of getting killed before you get a chance to use it. So it's just it's a push true. your luck thing. It's just a push your luck thing, you know, because you if you um, choose something that's in play, you're going to make the other person drunk. Uh, yeah. So, but sometimes you know what? I'm gonna do the funniest thing and become the artist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let me let me let me give you one little tiny bit of advice, if I may. Oh, okay. Uh, for something like the artist, or like one-time use things, it can sometimes be useful to take a day one, like a day one role like that. If there is an artist out there, you can tell them go use your question, get it done. Then I'll you then I'll become the artist, and I get a, we get a second. Question. Oh, okay, okay. Well, see, that's okay because I was planning on uh, waiting. Then I will not do anything tonight and just continue to i guess get stoned off of this pipe that i have don't don't let me sway you completely i just want to make sure that like, yeah. that strategy is out there for like one time use things yeah. sometimes it can be useful to do it to you know to to get two uses out of it for a game for a town yeah no i think i will do that and i will see if anybody's the artist and then i will yoink their ability and also be the artist sounds good all right well okay. I'll, hopefully you survive long enough to do that yeah all right good luck bye Hello. Hello. Uh, I have a little bit of news for you already. What's up? You, my friend, are the good twin. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Your evil twin is Victory Bell. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> uh, I... I thought you two would have fun with it. Uh... <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> so I want to I want to recommend one thing to y'all, though. Okay. Um, and I told Victory Bell the same thing. Um, a lot of twins typically will just come out of the gate right away. I have an announcement to make. Victory Bell's the evil twin, you know? But you don't have to do that. If you want to, you and Victory Bell can go into a little private chat right away and talk about how you want to handle this. Because it's perfectly fine if the two of you want to wait a day or two before you announce it to the town so that y'all can kind of have a normal interaction with the town before everybody is afraid of both of you. So uh, I recommended to Victory Bell and I'm recommending to you, maybe go and just like have a little chat with Victory Bell to make sure y'all maybe have a plan on how you want to handle it. Okay. You don't have to do that, but that's just my little piece of advice. Sounds good. All right. Well, let's see how this Chaos Gremlin work behaves. For sure. Let me see if there's anything that I need to do before I do your little bit of the puzzle. Um, no, I think that it's fine to do it now. It's a little bit possibly out of order, but I think that is fine. Um, do you want to use your ability tonight? Oh, no, not yet. Okay. Uh, and do be aware that I did tell Victory Bell that you are the seamstress, so Victory Bell will be also claiming seamstress, presumably. So that's part of the evil twin ability. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. Sir, thank you. Cheers. Hello. Hey, clockmaker. How do you feel about that? I have never been the clockmaker, so I'm very excited. Sweet. Uh, so good. It's a good ability. And um, yeah, uh, uh, there's maybe some wrinkles to it, too, that you can think about. Um, but yes, you learn how many steps from the demon to its nearest minion. I'm and excited. you learn a five. A five? So five from its steps. nearest like minion to demon, like there's five steps away from each other. Is it including the position of like where they are? So steps. So like you are one step from Morgan. You are two steps from Victory Bell. You are three steps from Ridings. Does that make sense? Yeah. I may like technically. Oh, I can't. I can't see. Let's see. I'm two steps away from Philip, for example. Yes, you are. Okay. Cool. So the demon and minion, between between the demon and their nearest minion is five steps. Okay. Cool. Okay. Understood. Okay. Thanks, Theo. Good luck. <laughs> Are you looking up Dreamer Wiki strategies on your phone there? No, we're playing the Gardic phone. <laughs> of course, what am I even thinking? I forgot I put a Dreamer on this uh, in this game, but I did. So, um, yeah, you get to use your ability on night one. Um, yeah, so the Dreamer, yeah, you choose a player, not yourself or, ta or travelers, and you learn one good or and one evil character, one of which is correct, assuming you're all sober and all good. Cool, cool. Well, there's no real strategy for picking the first one, but I'll go with Elise. Okay. You look at Elise, and you learn that Elise is either the artist or the Vigamortis. Okay. Artist or... What was it called? Vigamortis. I haven't looked at all the... <laughs> okay, got it. Y'all seen that demon before. Yeah. Alrighty. Alright, good luck. 
Thanks. I'll make sure your muse can return. Ooh, that's a snipe. Let's see how that works out. I just had to guess what I thought Elise might run with. So that's the dangers of a first night dreamer. We'll see how that works out for Elise. Hello. Hey again. I am back with your mathematician information. Oh, I didn't think I got any tonight. Uh, yes, you are uh, not an asterisk character, so you get it on the very first night. So you learned how many things have gone wrong tonight, really. Okay. And uh, you get a big fat zero. Nobody's abilities worked wrong due to anybody else's abilities. Absolutely. Um, it is okay. all good, functioning well. You can mark that on your charts and put that big I sign. Shall. That says number of Unless... days since a malfunction, zero. Or one, Unless I'm yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Very good. <laughs> good luck, Elsa. Today's video is brought to you by the Card Lore Magic, and they make fantastic gifts. Get animated spell cards, condition cards, or townsfolk NPCs. You can even get in-game items like the Deck of Illusions and the Deck of Many Things. Get your Deck of Many animated cards using the info icon in the corner or in the doohickey down below. And good morning. Don't mean to abruptly pull you out of bed the way I was with thunder and lightning last night. Um, but there is indeed thunder and lightning hitting our town right now. Uh, there's a demon in your midst. Good luck, town. Thank you. Anyone got first night stuff? And people have already left. Yeah. Let's see who's all leaving so we can all write it down. That's probably right. a good point. Obviously, it's obviously writings and Elise are a. Uh, yeah. So, are you the seamstress? Yes, I'm the seamstress. Mmm. Mm. How convenient. Well, what do you fellow, want to talk about? Well, my fellow seamstress, are we going to? You wouldn't kill your twin, would you? Well, your own thing. flesh and blood. Here's the thing. Normally, like, the first time I played with an evil twin, I was just like, no. You, you could do a double bluff in any final three. That's true. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, if I'm alive um, in the final three, I can make myself look as suspicious as hell. Probably a good <laughs> idea. So, okay, in that case, can you pass on Artist to Victory Bell? Yeah, I'll pass Artist over to Victory. And what I'll type of demon that. are you? Oh, I'm a Vigor Mortis. Vigor, so okay. You're probably dying. Oh, no, not you. Victory Bell will probably die because I need to frame you. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, at any point you want to switch, just let me know. Cool. I'll take Flower Girl then. Okay, wait. So let me catch I'm, 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 I'm at your demon type. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Um, Thea, I'm going to take Flower Girl uh, and um, maybe, maybe not fall back on State Charm or last yeah. minute and probably throw writings under the bus. Oh yeah, I, I I I bring the heat. I get it. Let's. So, writings will probably take snake charmer for now, then, right? Yeah, and then I'll probably, until I hear otherwise from somebody, turn try to turn people into dumb things. Okay. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Did you want to? Um... Nah, anyway, good luck. All right. All right. Uh, all right. Hey. Okay. Hello. Uh, yeah. Elsa and I just like claimed roles at each other. What did you yeah, claim? We did. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I told I, the truth. I said I'm the philosopher. And I told the truth and said that I'm the mathematician. So, yeah. Well, we know you're both stinking liars. You do. You do. Yeah. Uh, but you know I'm not, so... Yeah, yeah. you know that we're yeah. both being honest because we're good people. We are, yeah. yeah. The trouble is, everyone in this town always is until they're not, so, yeah. It's true. It's true. Yeah, I should move first. Yeah. Okay. I am either the dreamer, the snake charmer, or the artist. Ooh, all really good, like, fun uh, roles are here. Yes. Okay, um, I'm either the juggler, um, the clockmaker, or the flower girl. Fun. With that, then. 
Sounds good, Elise. Thanks. Did you want me to juggle as well? I Yeah, I'm going to juggle for sure. Okay, uh, I think most yeah. people will. Yeah, I would hope so. Okay. But I keep missing chats. And uh, I will... Is there anything you'd like me to juggle you as? Um, let me check the list. Why don't you juggle me as... Um, as the artist. <laughs> Inside joke. <laughs> little bit, little bit. Morgan will love it, though, because she fights <laughs> me for the artist position all the time. They had an artist double claim that has never died. <laughs> <laughs> Except I was actually the artist in that game, so... Or were you? Okay. <laughs> hey! Art, I know, fair enough. Uh, artist... By, uh, town crier or philosopher? Yes. Brian, you like you're being held hostage in the basement. <laughs> I, I feel, for me, I was like, I think Ryan just has this, pre like, uh, he saw me play last time and he just, like, immediately assumes I'm evil. Like, uh, so, enjoying your red dot. And he's like, you're, I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> it can't happen every week. <laughs> yeah, but it did happen this week, right? No. I'm good. I got Team Blue. You got Team that, Blue. So yeah, that doesn't help me. <laughs> and okay, I'll do one for one with you. I'm the Sage. I'm the Juggler. You're the Juggler. Okay. Is Write there any character down. you'd like me to juggle you as that is not the Sage? Uh, you can juggle me as the Demon if you want. <laughs> no, oh, I. Uh, Doctor Dear. I I will definitely help you with the juggling though. That's for sure. I see. Uh, yeah, I would see. I've only gotten three or threes, so. Right. Um. Well. Um. From you got from, anything anyone yet? <laughs> no, and I could potentially. Um, and so. I may be able to share something later, but as of right now, because I got some information, um. From elsewhere. Like so far, avoid. yeah. But like, I'm seeing how things turn out first before I like continue. All right, kind of. Same. But yeah, so I have a quick chats. I see. Um, did you want to share something about your role? We could do like a three for three. I would or... like to learn for one. Oh, that's really intimidating, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's often. It often can be, but I think you'll find you'll find it quite freeing in time. Okay. Um I I'm the flower girl. I'm the juggler. Would you like me to juggle you as that or something? No, that's not a hard claim, because I've just heard of, I've heard of somebody else insist that was their hard claim. And this is not this is not a hard claim. I do not trust that you are the juggler. There is no way. Unfortunately for you, I am indeed the juggler. No, but Eric and Micah have also hard claims juggler. <laughs> can you have too many, really? No, no, yes, we can have too many. We can have too many. I was going to juggle today it's, as, as it's a, a polite juggler setup. action to Eric. <laughs> and Eric is like, yes, great, you can juggle. I go to Micah. Micah's like, please juggle. I'm the juggler. And I'm like... Oh, okay, awesome, hard claim juggler. And then I go to you, and you're like, I am hard claim for hard claim. I've given my honest hard claim. Now you give your honest hard claim, because I refuse to accept this. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I have to stand by my claim. I no! <laughs> okay. Hello. You you, and you said you, and you said you were, which ones again? The sweetheart, the town crier, or the philosopher. You know, it's interesting. It's interesting that that I've gotten two three for threes, and two of those were on two of the three for threes. That is interesting. <laughs> so either I have quite a oh. lot. Hey, oh, okay. You're, you're a pro. Probably better than me, huh? What have you learned? Oh, I learned that there's an awful lot of jugglers running around town. Oh yeah, I mean I think you're supposed to. 
Mm-hmm. We're supposed to Unfortunate jump. Unfortunately, because I'm one of them. Uh huh. Are, are you trying to say that everyone else is a fake? Not necessarily. Mm-hmm. There's always room for double claims and in sex and violence. Mm-hmm. It was. Oh, I, I, I'm hopeless at this writing, so I'm just going to hard claim to you as well. I'm the um, mathematician I got a zero, so... That's... Oh, cool. Mathematician with a zero. Yeah, so All I'm right. either poisoned or everyone's abilities worked. Um, and, uh, or, yeah. if, if, or there's a vortex, and a vortex means all information is all false. Information is false. Yeah, that's true. And I am... Um, have probably told one of the eagle team this by now because I've told so many people. But that can be interesting too. Let's see what happens. It's not like one of the top roles, but it's quite good. It's a, it's a strong you? role. What do you want um, to tell me I about am, your I will tell you that I am either the artist, the town crier, or the philosopher. Right. And if you had to choose, which one of those would you prefer to be? Oh, if I could choose any of these to just have as a, a, a yeah, I pick yeah, out the yeah. the hat to be, I would yeah. love to be the philosopher because as a philosopher, I could be anything I want to be. Is there someone that you think that like we should be trusting or like you have good vibes on? Let's just say I have a person of interest. Um. With Victory Bell, mm. um, I'm not going to reveal the nature yeah. yet because we did we did agree to a truce, right? Or it's on like you know when are we going to come out with this? But time. Oh. Yep. Perfect. Oh. Hey town, I am salty. I am so salty by the amount of hard juggling claims I got today. <laughs> right. so yeah, I'm. I have I've had so many people say that they were being honest to me. Exactly. And at least a few of them you were not being honest to me. Uh, I like how Alex is just like cackling in the background. Is like everyone's so honest. <laughs> well, with all this time, Sorry, Alex. Like, town. No, whole town full of good and honest people. Juggling. Good, good, good jugglers. We're so talented. Well, with all these jugglers, well, show us your stuff, jugglers. Yeah, if you would like to juggle, go ahead and raise your hand with the space bar, and I will go around the circle and collect juggles. Uh, we'll start with Eric, because I saw yours first. Sure, I'm going to juggle Elisa's all four demons. Okay. <laughs> oh, what? Yes. All four demons. We're going to go anti-clockwise today, writings. Ah, I'd like to juggle uh, Ryan as the Oracle, Alex as the Savant, and Philip as the Clockmaker. Gotcha. Mm. All right, moving up to Alex. It's uh, up to five, I guess. Yep, up to five. Okay, I'm thinking that Elise is... The Oracle, Helza's the Savant, Jesse is the the snake farmer, mm-hmm. and, and Micah's the sage. All right, I got it. Thank you, Ryan Terry. Uh, I would like to juggle uh, every single uh, every single player uh, as the witch. Can you do that? No, not really. Um, do you want to pick five players, possibly? Oh, is it five? Oh, I thought, I thought Juggle was... Oh, five players. My bad. Sir, five how players. could... Okay. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> oh, t- misunderstood the role. Five. five uh, I'll, I will uh, uh, juggle uh, Catboy, Elise, Helza, Jesse, and Micah as the witch. Okay. All right. I got it. Thank you. Uh, Philip. I'd like to juggle myself and only myself as the juggler. All right, fair enough. Got it. Elise. I would like to juggle Eric as all four demons. (laughs) (laughs) I see where this is going. Okay, Micah. Uh, I would like to juggle uh, Alex as the clockmaker, uh, Ryan as the oracle, Philip as the sage, Eric as the mathematician, and Morgan as the artist. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got it. Uh, I'll take some more hands up, everybody. Did I miss somebody? Oh, no. Not me. <laughs> all right. I just put mine you up. You missed Jesse. Jesse, oh, sorry. Go for it. I would like to juggle myself as all four demons. <laughs> okay, I got it. Um, okay. Theo, Theo, I have a quick. Um, uh, before I forget, and I'm only doing this because I'm ditzy and forget to ask things. Can I have a private thing? Yes, absolutely. I'll be right back. Hello. So, what, just rules clarification on the clockmaker. Mm-hmm. How many steps from demon to its nearest minions does each person count as a step? Yeah, so basically you are one step away from Elise and you're one step away from Philip. You're two steps from Helza and two steps from Ryan Terry. Two steps from... Does that make sense? So it's the, the space between. Yeah, basically, yeah. So it takes okay. one jump to get to Elise, two to Helza, three to Jesse, four to Micah, five to Eric, etc. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Right. okay. Yeah. 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 Day There's one. Some... Yeah, juggler has to go first day. Okay. Uh, or they don't do anything. Feel free, to do, uh, uh, feel free to do more public conversation, but uh, nominations are open. Do, do we have anyone who's safe to kill because they've already gotten all the information they'll ever get in life? Yeah, we'll be mean the juggler. <laughs> no, not yet, actually. Yeah, Hi, everyone. Oh, wait, yeah. do they find out even if they're dead? No. No, I'm assuming no. I, so no, they find out, like, in I'm the upset. night or something. We have so many hard claims of juggler yeah. who insisted Alex? that they would trade my real role for this. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, Sorry, Elise. I get to nominate myself as all four demons. You want to nominate all. yourself? Nominate yourself as all four demons? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> so are you... Are you... I'm, I'm kidding. I'm the clockmaker, and I have juicy information about the mouse around the house. <laughs> um, so I know that the minion and the demons are five away from each other so they're across mm-hmm. the board just like that shit about like the half of the circle the one third of the circle yeah. it applies here <laughs> yeah they're most they're most of that they're most of a circle away do, do we have anyone else that does a half thingy well hang on the artist <laughs> <laughs> if, if they ask they can ask that <laughs> eric you think you have something you want to add about this nomination no, I just think if the clockmaker is true, you're getting five away from each other. It means the minions are like within one or two spaces away from each other, right? Exactly. Is that, yeah. Um, yeah. No, it's, it's, yeah, they would have to be. They, they would basically, that's that's a good point, Eric, that they would basically yeah. have to be right on top of each other. But this, yeah, is five, five, this is unrelated to the nomination on Alex. Is there a so let's go ahead and run this on Alex first. So here we go. <clears throat> this is on Alex. Anything you want to say so uh, in your defense, Alex? I like to be on top of my minions. All right, here you go. <laughs> we should probably make sure this is there but beatable. Yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. yeah. Six. Four. We only need a six. You can put your hand on Yeah, you can. I was, wait, I was waiting for the. Yeah. Yep. Six is yeah, enough. You're valid. Yeah. Just to restate Thank it for everyone, uh, the War Talks is on the script, as we already yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Probably have to is, execute. Is Thank the, you, Alex. The five, and it's a, well, yeah, the five could be. The, Thank you. It's, it's, the five no, could be no, mixed with the vortex. Is the five inclusive, or is like uh, pretend like Alex is the demon? Do I go one, two, three, four, five, and then the next person? It's so, the, so the, 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 the number of gaps. Micah, like the space you are, between. Micah, sorry, you are. I, Micah, you are one step from Eric. You are two steps from Writings. You are three steps from Victory Bell. Is that okay? Point? So if Alex was the clo- was the demon, and she got. Or, and it was a five, it would be either me or at least Helza. Helza, okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, the clockmaker okay. counts the purple spaces between the characters. Philip? Oh, okay. Okay, so a step is the, the liminal space. Gotcha. Philip? Philip has their hand. Yes, I have a nomination to make. Oh, let's hear it. Okay. Ooh. I'd like to nominate Eric. Oh, welcome to the table. <laughs> I, oh no, I didn't nominate. What, what are what are we not letting Eric get away, get away with? with it? I must yes. say the vibes are absolutely rancid with this one. <laughs> rancid? <laughs> you have to, well, to be fair to Eric, I don't know him very well, but I, I got the same vibes last time I met him, and he was good. So, <laughs> yeah. You're only a suspicious person, but I'll vote for this. But, 
I have really? a juicy info. Eric, what role uh, are you then? Eric has failed a dream for has failed I'm a dreamer brother. confirmation. Has, has failed, failed a what? Has what? failed a dreamer confirmation. Oh. Right. Which can mean one of three things. One, Eric is evil. Two, it is a Vortox game, in which case, food for the Vortox. Or three, um, the dreamer is bullshit. <laughs> in which case, that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> so. Mm. Myself. Okay. Uh, Eric. I don't really have a defense for this. I think I'm I'm good with it. I'm not the demon, so go for it. Okay. Uh, while this is running, six votes to tie, seven to execute. While it's running, I'm going to say, right <laughs> uh, your microphone is quite loud for some reason. Uh, yeah. Oh, move it away a little bit. Thank you very much. Mm. Eric, what role are you then? Why are you like letting I'm, yourself fall I'm, I'm getting I'm getting outsider vibe from Eric on on this. Uh, I see. Okay. Three's not enough. I'm getting a, I'm getting outsider vibe. Like Second that call. might also be there's the there's a number of outsiders that would also be a reason that he might fail a dreamer claim as a note. Is this better, Theo? Mm. I think uh, yeah. so. Yeah, much better too. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Final call for nominations. I mean, when you say, is there, is there any other first night info? No evil twins out there. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna oh, Alex, evil, evil twin. Five. <laughs> Three. Oh. Wait, if, uh, Micah, is that real? Because we're about to execute one. No, it's like, not. <laughs> okay, Alex is executed and dies, and everybody goes to sleep. Okay, I was like. Okay, yes, thank y'all, chat. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. It is kind of a rough start for evil. I feel a little bad for them. <sighs> Maybe that evil twin placement was a bit rougher than two, but let's see how it goes. Uh, at least has a couple of options here. One thing that I was writings could well no, they can. Hmm. I think writings can also change that evil twin into something that might be a little bit more helpful. They maybe lose out on a win condition, but uh, I can give them a Serenovus or a Witch, which might help out a little bit before Elise kills a minion. Uh, let's see what everybody decides to do, though. So let's see. Let's go start with our philosopher, see if they found an artist or not. Hello. How did your artist hunt go? Um, well, I didn't find one, but also I think I'm just gonna take it anyway, because uh, the artist could have used their information and didn't. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Okay, you taking the artist? Give, yeah, given the clockmaker info, I think that's helpful. Go ahead and change your token here on my end. All right. Uh, excellent. Let me see. The artist goes during the day, so hopefully you survive the yeah. night. Hopefully. We'll see. Good luck, Morgan. Okay. Hello. Hello. All right. What is your first choice? <sighs> I, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. I expected someone on the evil team to say they wanted to be something else, but they seem to both be content with what they got at the moment. Well, uh, I was going to say, keep in mind that you can always change the evil twin to something like mm -hmm. a Serenovus or like a witch, and the, uh, the good twin is not informed. So yeah. they don't know. I'm, a, you lose uh, I'm aware of that's the thing. Like, I asked uh, Victory Bell, I was like, do you think you can get Catboy killed? And Victory Bell's like, I don't know. Um, so I'm like, oh. Hmm. On the off chance... She, because I don't think I don't know if Elise knows that Victory Bell is a twin yet. Because if she vigor kills the twin, that doesn't really help her much. So it might be better to switch Victory Bell into something that could be continuous for a time being. You can, uh, you can change a dead minion, and they will continue to have their ability. Okay, so. 
So okay. If, if if yeah, if she decides to kill off Victory Bell, you can change it later. As long as you don't change Victory Bell into something that's not a minion as an intermediary step. As long as you go from one minion to another. Uh, I checked this all before we started today, and chat can correct me if I misread something, but that's the way I believe it works. As long as they remain a minion, they remain they get they keep their power. Okay. Fair enough. So no, I just have to be mindful. Just that. The, hmm. yeah. it, the, then the flip end is: Do I want to go with the person who I know is what? And already had sus vibes of me, or do I pick someone in the dark? Because Ryan gave me two of the demon bluffs and a third, <laughs> so I feel like I know what Ryan is. <sighs> but I think Ryan would come after me if I switch him. So I, I'm Ryan's tempted to. Yeah, so I'm tempted to go for someone I didn't talk to at all. I think I want to switch Jesse okay. into. If I switch Jesse into the Clockmaker, you wouldn't reaffirm the Clockmaker info, would you? Um, no, no. There's already a Clockmaker in play. I, that would be redundant. That wouldn't trigger at all. Then. Yeah, um, if there's a Clockmaker in play, it would not trigger. Yeah. So it. Um. All right, and. She claimed a good number, so she's a clockmaker. So we're going to go with an outsider. Okay. So I got 50-50 shot on that. Um, I'm going to turn well, Jesse say, into... Let me just say oh. real quickly, uh, just to keep in mind, I'm just going to try to... I'm trying to help all my players all the time. Uh, normally, this would be a two-outsider game, but a Vigor Mortis subtracts an outsider. Oh, so I actually got an even better chance of turning someone into something. Presumably. Okay. Interesting. I, well, I didn't see a sentinel. So I think I will turn Jesse into the klutz. All right. I uh, will wish you good luck. All right. Thank you. On over to uh, Super good shout. Jesse got one night of completely damning information and is shut down. So very good choice there. Couldn't have been much better. Let's go ahead and set up my. If you could see, he would be sitting on my chest. Oh, so cute. Did you did you know that your cat would be so cut? Hey Jesse. Oh. How's it going? I'm good. I forgot about the Vortox, so now I'm worried that everything I'm learning is gonna be pointless. But it's that's, fine. That's a possibility. Um I do have a little bit of news for you. Uh-huh. You are the klutz. What is that? Okay. You have been changed into the klutz. Oh, okay. Okay. There's a couple of ways this can happen. Okay. <laughs> um, but, you know, uh, there's pit hags, there's barbers, there's things like that. Um, but you are the klutz. Okay. 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 Um, night two, I changed the klutz. So, okay. Sorry, your dream information has come to an end for now. That's all right. I got a, I got one. <laughs> yeah, I hope it works out for you. Thanks. Good luck. Bye. Hello. Hello. How's it going so um, far? I'm so stressed, honestly. I'm, I'm feeling a little anxious, but um, we'll do our best. So I think the plan to keep writing al writings alive is good. And I think I'll keep Jesse alive for the same reasons because Jesse put Snake Charmer once in a three and other people have heard that too. So um, I'll keep that around. Uh, Helza claimed something that reoccurs and because Alex is on the other side of the circle and dead, I'm going to ping the other side to make sure that um, we can't clear people with clock clockmaker info when they when it turns out there's no Vortox. So I'm going to kill Helsa, please. Okay. I will take care of it. Thank I you. Wish you. And I was going to say, too, as far as, like, the Vortox, or I'm sorry, the Vigor Mortis, I think is interesting because it feels like Vigor Mortis is a demon that starts off without having a lot of power but can yeah. accumulate that power uh, as the game goes on by poisoning people, by killing their minions. And I'm going to kill Victory Bell at some point. I just want to leave it one more day because I think if Hells is getting really powerful info, I'm not willing to take that risk. So, yeah, but I, I'm really hoping Victory Bell stays alive one more round so I can do that and keep writings alive to frame. Did you talk to Victory Bell yet? Do you know what they are? No, uh, I don't, but I asked writings to pass off a bluff, so I hope that that worked out. Okay, we'll find out. Good luck. Thank you. So Hello. Hello. I'm mostly here to get full screen cat. 
Hey, uh, hello. Hi, kitty. I'm such a sweet kitty. Where'd you get yeah. Mask? I got him at the Friends for Life Animal Shelter. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, yeah, they're at their local no-kill shelter in Houston. That is a very happy kitty right there. He is getting ear scratches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our kitty loves ear scratches. Tilly does, because Tilly's missing a back leg, and so we can only get one of her ears, and so we have to give her ear scratches all the time. But uh, you're an oracle, as well as a cat owner, cat dad, and so you mm -hmm. learn how many dead players are evil, and you learn tonight a zero. A zero. So Alex, and potentially whoever was killed by the demon. Potentially. Uh, are uh, both good in theory, provided I'm not poisoned, or that there's not a Vortox, yep. or that I can read through a laundry list of any number of things yes. that have disrupted that. Welcome to but, on the Clock Tower. This is true. Yep. Yep. All right. Good Thank luck, Ryan. Mm. My mask. Uh, hey, yeah. Uh, hey. How's the twin thing going? Good. I am going to use my power. Okay. Um, Victory Bell and Elise. Okay. You look at Victory Bell and Elise, and you learn that, yes, they are on the same team. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Okay, you went Am through Am I still your, alive? You are, but you went through your jokes okay. really fast, and I didn't get them at all. So I'm going to ask okay. you to repeat them. Uh, Alex Clockmaker, okay. Ryan the Oracle, uh, Philip the Sage, Eric the Mathematician, and Morgan the Artist. Okay, uh, you get a three. Wow, okay. Uh, that's good. I did good guessing. All right. <laughs> that is a pretty good shout there. Do you have an idea of which three it might be? Well, Alex, I'm pretty confident, is the clockmaker. Um, I'm going to guess Eric and Philip are my other correct guesses. Well, I will let you ponder that as I'll send you back to sleep. All right. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> yes, Star Fox, that pretty much was a 3.5. All right. I think that is everything for the night. This might be a short game. We might be in for a rewrap. Um, poor Helsa. All right. Let's go into day number two, our last day. <laughs> We're here. Oh, well, good morning. good morning, Goblinshire. Unfortunately, buried under a pile of disused icing is the body of Helza. Mm. No. Oh. Oh. Nobody right. needs to get any more information. Who'd you make mad? Who'd you make mad? Helza, who were you? Um, I was a mathematician. Oh. I told uh, a few people. I told riding... Elise, Alex, and I more or less told, I told a couple of people I was just a first night information person and then I couldn't care, I couldn't think what else I was, so I told people I was a mathematician. Um, and my first night information was that, was a zero. Oh. And this makes me think it's not a Vortox game because I don't see why the Vortox would well, bother killing no. me. If Vortox I give you the, the Vortox I think also yeah. Clock, you're opposite mm. a clockmaker. Like if if the clockmaker info is true. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. If the clockmaker then, info is true, I'm opposite the clockmaker, which makes you hey. more cleared. So unless okay. it's a Fangu oh. game, when then Helza just ditched and went somewhere else. <laughs> for, for clarity, the clockmaker's positioning has nothing to do with the clockmaker's actual read. It's how many steps the demon is to the closest minion. So if you believe that the clockmaker yeah. is the clockmaker, they're not the demon. So you're looking for like someone who's like five steps of two other people who are five steps away from each other. Mm. Yeah. Well, and that means theory, if, uh, yeah. That that's actually a, a really neat. So, um, yeah, I use my power, and here's the thing. I'm still not convinced this isn't a Vortox game, but, you know, if this is an easy way to learn how things are, then so be it. 
Hmm. Hmm. Is there anything um, that we missed uh, for chat? No, no. no, we're just gonna. Uh, maybe I think the first day we had, I had to leave, and I couldn't really interact with everybody. Yeah, he had to go um, take. So we we made a truce. We made a truce, and we weren't going to talk about anything. But um, um I but want we're going to come out tonight. Yeah, I want to do something to say. Yeah. Which I thank you for that truce. Thank you. Okay. Um, everybody's good that night. No, I know what you mean. So- yeah. But if they're not sharing that they're evil twins, that's not, not going to be a victory condition that we can really use. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Or just turn people into the mutant or something. Um, I picked, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Sarah I picked Jessie something. out of a hat. I didn't talk to her. I turned her. tried to turn her into the klutz. I don't know if that'll help be useful or not. Cool. All right. That's funny. And Ryan is definitely the Oracle. He gave me, as long as one of them was true, he gave me two of your bluffs and Oracle. Yeah. So before we kill us, you might want him dead. Got it. Thank you. All right. Thank you for the Oh, Hells is disconnected. Yeah, I saw that. Is everything okay? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Probably uh, internet issues. I'll try to touch base in the Discord. I'll let y'all enjoy your game. And what did you get as a read? Um, either artist or vigor mortis. That's enough for you to go after Elise as yeah. the dreamer. As the dreamer, like uh, if what everything you're telling me is true, that's all you need. She's she would be a perfect yeah. uh, nomination for that. I was if waiting was to just... reveal I was a dreamer until I got more information, but now that I'm not anymore. So you're I... not you're not the dreamer, but uh, what what are you? I'm sorry, what are you again? <sighs> I'm trying to think if there's a bad reason for it. I think I already know how I'm going to use this, so I'm the klutz. Okay. I got changed to the klutz. It's possible we have a fang goo game, so you don't want to be out with the fact that you're an outsider. You want to kind of downplay oh, it. Act true. like you're still the dreamer. Act like you're still the dreamer. There's only yeah. one person who knows you're not the dreamer, and that's the pet, the pit hag and the that's evil true. team. So if someone's you. like, yeah, someone's like being suspicious that you're not the dreamer, you should have a mild evil. And I can also so call like, out. Philip for either lying <laughs> as claiming Jim or lying about the dreamer information that they heard. Maybe they're telling the truth about dreamer information they heard, and just someone else is lying about being. Let's the go find it out. Let's go talk to Philip. That's a good person okay. to talk to. So, but definitely you should be nominating Elise. So that's what you got. Bigger yeah. order. Uh, but no. Right. I don't want to you... publicly say that because I think that um, the evil team will start like trying to frame people. But I'll tell yeah. you because you're dead. I think you're pretty confirmed. Yeah. Um. So later, you can help back me up that I said that. Did but, you, um, did you... I tend to favor the the I, core I, strip I like the usually. Basics. Yeah. TB's my favorite, and even though it's just one demon. I love the least that, that it to this game. <laughs> so um, I would appreciate if we kept it a bit quick. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, what would you like to do? Twos, threes. Um, I'd like to one for one. Hmm. I don't know anything about you, nor have I played with you before, so I don't really got a vibe to know. Talks game, or if it's somehow... Also, there's a number of ways that it could be messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, misinformation would automatically mean then it'll be how to be the opposite, so yes or no question, right? Mm, no, you Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, which would just, yeah, the other way around would be that we are on the same team. Just yes or no. Here. <laughs> hey, I'm just letting you know where I, my stand is. Mm-hmm. I like to give informed consent. I don't know what I walked into. Uh, th- 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 there was a request of hard claim, and I was like, ah, I don't know you well enough to really do a hard claim yet. So I'm down for more of a two or a three. At least have to take writings out to dinner first before the hard claim comes in. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not interested in trading twos and threes. I'm not that All kind right. of person. <laughs> okay. Well, but, yeah. Then, uh, I have not spoken to Eric yet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I am the seamstress. Oh, thank you. Okay. And I learned that you and Victory Bell are, are of the same alignment. Amazing. Happy to hear that. Okay. A chance. Um, so I will um, come out and say that with Victory Bell. I'm being upfront with it because he's going to play, but probably claim the same thing. So, um, 
they, they, sorry, they. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go from there. Okay. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I feel. Um, so like, I'm supposed to do the artist thing uh, privately. Can I do it now, or do I have to do it without Eric here? Um, you have to do it without Eric here, but let's go back to town okay. and then we can pull you in. Okay. Just request a chat. <laughs> Someone else, anyone but me. Yeah. Or, all right. I have a quick little chat. Yes, uh, I will let y'all do some private chats if you want to. Uh, Please stay in the town square. I'll be back in a second. <coughs> All right, I have something. To... Well, okay. hold on. Hey. Catboy, okay. can you wait a second before you make your announcement so I can be here yes. for it? So yeah. No. Yeah. Just y'all, y'all just talk about other things. I'll be back in a second. Um. We can... okay. okay. Um. So my question is: Is the demon in the bottom half of the clock between me and Helza? Oh my God! Give me names. Um, so that would be uh, me, Victor, Ridings, Eric, Micah, Jesse, or Helza. You're asking if one of those is the demon. Yes. The answer is no. None of those are. Okay. Demon. All right. Okay. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Good luck. Yeah. Um, okay. okay. Uh, Anyone had jello right. cake? Jello so cake. So I have oh, I have some information that I want to put forth. Okay. Yes. So I am the seamstress. Lovely. But I also learned last night that I am in the, I am the good counterpart to a twin. Oh, you learned <laughs> last night? You, I, no, wait, I, learned, what? I learned the first night that I was a good counterpart to an evil twin. Okay. Right. And who is on night twin? one? A victory bell. And twins. And uh, and <laughs> twins. Uh, on night family. one, we agreed to a truce because victory bell had to go do something. All right, everyone, put their hands out because I'm next. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I didn't. So we agreed to a truce because he couldn't defend himself against other people because he literally had to leave the scene. They, 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 they. Um, and um, when we were at the end of day, Micah asked about twins and stuff, and both uh, of you were let's, here. We, let's, yeah, give, let's give Cat the room at the end. Uh, stage we, ha- we had an agreement, like, I'm not gonna okay. say anything on night one, so. I uh, was true to my word. I didn't want to do that to Victory Bell. And then, so knowing that he's, they are an evil twin. I am so sorry. Uh, I had to theorize. So five spaces away from Victory Bell is Helza, who died. The next person I would suspect would be the evil twin then would be Morgan, because um, the demon would have to be across the board. And so, and Morgan is... uh, probably the next minion that will have the five count. I was the philosopher, but then I took the artist role. (laughs) (laughs) Neat. Very good. So, so here's the thing. I'm, so I, I am banking on Alex, um, Alex's information being true. And also the fact that if Victory Belt's five, uh, five spot, um, counterpart is already dead, then um well there's two five spot counterparts you can go five that and would be cat boy <laughs> and yeah, that would be, be helpful you're right that would be yourself it would be me yeah. so um i have to operate on a world where morgan is the evil twin so that because otherwise um sh- she would be a closer minion to a demon i'm confused why that would yeah, make it also could be reason it also could be reasoning they- and at least it's the demon so um in both of my worlds in both of those worlds it would be elise uh, it so wouldn't I be elise got, if it was uh, morgan oh, but oh, it could be oh. it could be elise if okay so well hold on so if, if you're saying if it's because it, it can't be helza and it can't be you um, it could be elise. and so if that's the case then if it's morgan yeah elise is an option and but that's also, assuming, but like, also, I want to like, be yeah. forthright and say that we do have a Vortex game. Yeah, you, are not, yes. you are not obliged to believe me coming out as a twin because I came out first. And also, it, there is a lot of jumping here. Like, you know, I use Alex's information, I use my power, and, um, you know. So yes, I did use the, the Seamstress ability last night. I checked Elise and Victory Bell, and the Storyteller told me that they are of the same alignment. So at least well, in that, that case, would if, cool if in the, now that that being said, this is all kind of coming off of a. Um, this is relying a lot on on seamstress and also potentially false information from. Right. Yeah, let me go. So 
Catboy, you have anything so, you want to fun, finish up with, and I'll go to the other hands. My last thing would be, if you kill either me or Victory Bell, whichever one of us you believe, um, it could immediately end the game. Mm. So, um, there's that. Um, but I also want to give my twin a chance to offer a rebuttal. Okay, yeah, let me let Victory Bell go first, and then we'll get to the other hands real fast. Victory Bell? <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm the seamstress. Um, uh, found out my twin was Catboy on the first night. Uh, I've never had a twin, so I freaked out and just used my power. And, and I chose Ryan and Eric. I don't know. Um, so, and I talked to Ryan about it. But, um, yeah. And then uh, explaining yesterday was mainly I had to take care of my niece, so I couldn't do any talks with anybody really. Um, so we made a truce not to talk, and that's why we didn't come out and say that there was a twin baby. Right. Thank you, Victory Bell. Morgan. Um, yeah, okay. So uh, I am the philosopher, and then I was like, the funniest thing I could possibly do is take the artist role, so I did. <laughs> <laughs> and I asked Theo if the uh, demon was in the bottom half of the clock between me and Helza, so me. Ah. Oh, wait. Which Theo is connected. Sorry, I'm back. Go ahead. Um, which means that uh, the demon is either Elise, Catboy, Philip, Ryan, Terry, or I mean, Alex is dead, but uh, <laughs> so I don't think it's Alex because Alex is dead. But uh, Keep, I don't know. Yeah, if like there's also a po- like the only possible star pass is the Fangu. <laughs> But if, if we they, if we twin, then I still Alex. Or it's a vortex, and Morgan, it, your information's flipped. Writings are still really yeah. loud. Also, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if if it's a vortex, it would be the other way around. Mm. Oh, I yeah, first interesting. Well, that's, uh, but that would mean that would mean also Alex's information is wrong, and my that's right. Yeah, and all the info would be wild. Mm. But. Mm. All of okay, the info so we have any I, fault. Yes, is the I, idea is that. With my claim, if it's a no alignment, then it's like Ryan and Eric would have to be right, off yeah. alignments. Right. So I'm actually the juggler. I actually got a one for juggling Elise was all four demons last I think night. It's a yeah. War talk. That makes sense. Like, my, so I'm the flower girl with a no, and so many people voted. I think it has to be War talks. Eric, anything you want to add, Eric? I, I, a lot of my information is adding up that at least would be a reasonable nomination, uh, just because of various different uh, information I've heard around the circle. I, I, I'm not sure I can put it all together. But that's what I'm thinking. So Jesse, don't feel that yeah. you have it. Jesse. Yeah. Um. So, and if Elise is not on the evil team, I feel so bad that so much information is pointing to you, because yeah. so I was the dreamer. So I'd be interested in knowing um, what. Philip is talking about dreamer wise because that was not correct um, and Elise was who I checked the first night and flower girl was not either of the things I got for you oh, oh really uh, I think it's vortex all of this well, stuff is pointing towards a vortex world right like then we, who then we, then we, de- <laughs> we definitely need to uh, then we definitely need to nominate and I think Elise might be a good one to choose well, yeah. let's get so, the hands first Jesse anything else yeah, let's get add? the hands first oh sorry okay that's all uh, so, yeah, I am I'll, leaning I'll get, towards the nominations are open. Ryan, hold on a second. Ryan, we get Philip first. Oh, Philip. I am leaning towards the demon being a Fengu. It is unfortunate that we stumbled over each other, Jesse. I will explain myself to you tomorrow, hopefully in private. Okay. Unfortunately, um, the crushing weight of evidence seemed to be pressing down on our lease, although most of it seems to be predicated on the reading between Catboy, um, or Catboy's claim of, a, of being a seamstress, itself exactly. in a twin pair. And the funniest part is, the twin pair itself, I actually have a decent inkling that the two of them might just be evil and faking it. See, that's the other world. If they were working together and then one of them like died in the night, then we wouldn't ever execute the other one. Like if it was it's like a bigger water spray or something. That um, Alex's clockmaker information also positions Victory Bell and Catboy as potential evil pairs. 
It does. That's true. That's true. The game won't so end one could be the demon and protecting the other. That's yes. but also there's very few ways. What I what I think a good play here is nominations are open. I, uh, I nominate I'm Elise. Up. Okay. Yep. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> Sorry, we just got to move it along here a little bit. I, I, I think this is a – what What this well, will also it. let us do is eliminate some worlds because even in the event that – in the event that this goes through and Elise dies and nobody dies in the night, then we will we'll have known we killed maybe a demon. And if that's the well, case, then we can deal with the twin pair and figure that out. Let me but, get to Catboy here first. Yeah. Catboy. So um, I've already pr- – um, I don't think that – my clans are solely uh it's not only dependent on the seamstress ability but it's also the clockmaker ability that has been pre-established and the fact that um because it's such a large number it really does limit it to uh, three people being minions and uh one per um, so uh, one person at least so, oh, sorry. um yeah at least um yeah, look, I don't. I didn't want to be dragged into the seamstress twin pair stuff, but here I am. Um, I would like to stay alive. I obviously know my token is blue. Um, I thought I was being helpful. Uh, I'm the snake charmer, and I cleared people. Um, I was talking about flower girl info. Hope I will stay alive, but that's obviously not the case. Um, you can kill me, but I know I'm good. I'm going to be picking myself from now on. I think that it's very possible we're going to have Catboy and Victory Bell on the same team who have coordinated this. You're not going to kill either of them. Um, mm. And then a demon's just going to sink the kill in the night anyway of me. So I reckon we go for one of the twins first and we figure out who that is. We might have a town crier. Five is the majority. Here we go. This is on the lease. No, you're not voting on me. No. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they are. They are. Oh, All right. Right. You, That's really you confuse me for a second there, Elise. <laughs> oh, this is all. This is a lot of votes. All right, seven That's is enough. Lot of <sighs> Other nominations. I gotta clear this world. What well, one, so. one, one way, one way or another, this won't end the game. But it, we'll Not see, you. guys. Unless they're lying about being twins. Unfortunately, Elise <laughs> nominates Jesse. <laughs> Elise nominates Jesse. Go ahead. Um. Look, I might. I, I think that this might be a demon trying to like put info over here i think that saying you got like the wrong dreamer stuff potentially points at me being evil when i'm not um and obviously a real dreamer would have real info so i think that jesse's a good kill here instead jesse theo can i ask you a question real quick yeah absolutely we'll go into chat wait let me close this out first that was jesse who asked right <laughs> i was looking at something yes. else okay mm-hmm. Yeah. Does the klutz ability only trigger if I die at night or if I get executed as well? Uh, wait, take a look at it. When you learn that you died, so anytime you die, no matter what kills you, uh, you it's up to you, if you do die, to you know, say, I'm the klutz and I'm doing this. Oh, okay. So yeah, you have to do that as part of the rules. So I would have to do it? Yeah, so if you die here in an execution, just say... I claim klutz I and I choose a player. If you wake up in the morning and you're dead, you have to say I claim klutz and choose somebody. Okay, okay. but uh, it it would also apply for if I get executed. Got it. Okay, yep. that's all. Mm-hmm. Um, Baldur's Gate, like you oh, get you you, you got to use your abilities when you have them. Yeah, so. that's true. That's true. Jesse. Um, so I'm. I mean, I I'm the dreamer. Sorry, I'm just um, processing the question I asked. Um, I will say there is either a uh, Serenovus or a Barber because I'm not the dreamer anymore. It was only the dreamer Ooh. the first night. And or now Pitag. I'm... Mm. Wait, that's what I meant. Sorry, not Serenovus. I meant Pitag. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Pitag what? What? What were you changed into? Um, I don't feel like sharing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's... You can um, you can kill me though. It's fine. I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't think it's probably worth changing it at this point. Seven. I think yeah. it's worth change change it. Eight to execute. <laughs> this is on. Come on, everybody. My role is less important now. I don't want to die. Can... I'll vote for myself. Dang, that's some sadism right there. <laughs> <laughs> it is not sadism enough though because two won't cut it 
Final call. Crazy when the town crier gets a one tomorrow. <laughs> Do we have a town crier? Yeah. Yeah. No, not, no one's claimed it. Yeah. Well. Okay, calling in five seconds. Five. Four. I would like to nominate. Yes. Myself. Okay. <laughs> Philip nominates <laughs> Philip. You're Philip. defending your demon right here. Tell us about the sadism, I guess. Um, <laughs> masochism, I in this case. Hoping to get witched. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Carry on. Hoping what? I was hoping what? to get witch killed. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Ah. Okay. Oh, um, seven to tie, eight to execute. Killed. Hmm. I need to speed up At least we'll do anything. Fuck. I don't. I. I see my tokens blue. I don't want to die. You I feel like Catboy and Victory Bell are framing me. <laughs> okay, okay. Look, I'll change my token right now to make it red. Two, one, and Elise is executed and dies. And congratulations go to. Good night. <laughs> right okay so uh we did lose our demon but we do have somebody who can make a new one so not all is lost and the game didn't end because we have twins alive so we are still good to go. I was thinking about re-racking, but yeah, we're not at that point just yet. Let's see what we decide to do. Oh, I re uh, Philip just talked about what I was planning to do. Damn. Oh, what is that? I'm going to make a new demon. <laughs> Seems prudent. Seems prudent. So, question for you. Yeah. Because what I'm thinking, I want to I wanna make sure I'm, I'm thinking correctly in how you would do this. Mm -hmm. I act... Before the demons. Mm -hmm. So if I turn myself into the demon, I can get a kill, correct? Yeah. Excellent. I believe um, that. It does say if a demon is made, destinite or arbitrary. Correct. So you have a choice. You could let my deaths, the, who I choose, go through, or you could do zero deaths or more deaths. You have the gambit. Um, I'm going to cross my fingers and you go with what I'd like to do, but I understand if you don't. So what I think I would like to do is turn myself into the Fangu. Okay. And I'm going to go off Philip's deductions from earlier and hope that Eric is the outsider he claimed he was, because I can't use the outsider Jesse who just outed themselves a bit. So I'm going to hope that Eric is the natural outsider that Philip dropped day one for me. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm. So you're choosing yourself and Fangu. I'm choosing myself as Fangu, and since yeah. I'd be next in the night order, I'm letting you know I'm hoping to jump to Eric, which would also have more multiple deaths. Well, because first of all, let me tell you that you yeah. are the Fangu, and you are evil. <laughs> No. Yeah, if, uh, in theory, maybe Vortox would be the better choice, but I think our day, our days are numbered Okay. based on that clockmaker, and I'm hoping I could jump to somebody else, which the clockmaker number doesn't uh, seem as valid. Okay, so uh, that is all fair. Um, thing is, oh, so you are choosing Eric as your demon choice. Yes. Okay, we'll see what happens. All, all right, on. thank you. An apple, so you have to like yeah, click exactly. kind of information to get to that yeah. apple. Yeah, oh, and then fine. it's like okay, chat. So <laughs> the games are going very interestingly. Uh, my question for chat is: uh, I think at first I was thinking maybe just can I roll with it and not do an extra death, but I kind of feel like I want to now because we have. I think evil's back in this a little bit. I think he was back in this with Eric claiming that token. Uh, no kill and they think it's Elise. That's also, uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, Dark Force, Dark, Dark Fox. I'm gonna allow Eric to become the demon. I think that's safer because they are gonna 
do that five down to writings, eventually they'll figure that out. Uh, I think about doing Eric and maybe Morgan to trigger that, but I think that they are, or not Eric, but writings and Morgan. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. Yep, Mayo agrees with me. Um, killing Ryan. I don't, I don't want to... The evil's getting a big boost here. <laughs> so I think that they're going to be a little bit better shape here once uh, this jump happens. So I'm thinking about doing Eric and Morgan. Y'all let me know. Uh, we have a little time in the night if Eric and Morgan... Of course, Eric would be the death of writings. So writings and Morgan with Eric becoming the demon. If y'all think that's good. Seems like chat. I don't know how much of a delay I'm on here between what I say. Uh, yeah, I think Okay. Ready some working. All right, everybody seems to be on board. Thank y'all, chat. This is why I like doing it with you guys. Uh, let's take care of this. Hello. What's going on, Theo? You are the Fangu. You are evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was worried that was going to happen. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. It moves to the voting. The other thing that's interesting is that Eric's not going to know if Fridings or Morgan was the original Fangu, and I think that is a lot of fun. <laughs> so that's going to be interesting too. All right, so let's go ahead and change the character. <laughs> and we're going to put you as. Well, I don't have to put anything for that. Morgan is also good. So that's going to be very tough for Eric, poor thing. Uh, but it's also fun for us. So I'm. All right. What is the rest of our night here? Uh. I have completely lost the thread of what's happening. Uh, oh, that's true. That's true as well. That's true as well. They are both five steps away. One, two, three, five. That's so much fun. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Oracle does get a two. That's fun. All right. What's next? Uh, Sage did not die. Yeah. So we are at Oracle. Yeah. So we have a dead writing. So we have a dead Elise. Powerful information. Oh, sorry, Theo. Yeah, it's alright. How's everything going? Going alright. Alright, uh, yep. You learn how many dead evil players there are, and there are two. Two? Hmm. That is Aim. clearly correct and sober information, no doubt. Interesting. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. People. <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning, Goblin Shire. I have the unfortunate duty to let you know that Morgan died in the night. <gasps> oh my and God. Writings okay. died in the night. Why is it say at Writings, what were you? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. <sighs> Actually, yeah. I was the nope. That was a hundred percent you. <laughs> Who are you writing? Yeah, the, the I was the original artist. Die. The only way to die is if there was an arbitrary death. I, I got. What was your? Oh, I was the original. I assumed there wasn't one because nobody used it like the first day. No, I was waiting. I'm sorry. I, want, I always wait to find out if we have a vortex or not. What did um, we say? Sorry, you know, obviously I... a witch. I yoinked your role. It's yeah. okay. It happens. Oh. To be fair, I would have thought a different role would have get yanked than the artist. So I didn't no, think I had to I rush. Just, I just thought it would be it the funniest funny. thing. <laughs> Do you use your artist? Because Michael ability? and I get into arguments no. over who's the artist. Uh, How do we so have Because I wasn't sure if we had a Vortox or not yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, what happened? I'll I'll introduce. I'd like to I'd like to note something here. So the yeah. the only way on this script to get a double kill without because there's no grandma, there's no set. There's only one way this happens, and that's the that's the pit hag making a new demon, and deaths tonight being arbitrary, being killing two deaths. I think Elise was the demon. Elise was the demon. The pit hag just made a new demon, oh, either themselves or the evil twin. And Theo has signaled that to this group via killing two people. I also, I'm going to out myself right now. I am the Oracle. And Ooh. I just got a two, which I believe what has happened is Elise died 
in either ri- rise, uh, risings or writings, uh, or writings. writings, sorry, writings or Morgan is also evil and is one of the two deaths that basically that, the- that Theo has done in order to signal this. He basically costs like maybe if like for example, if either Victory Boy, Victory Bell, or Cat Cat Boy was the evil twin, they may now be the demon. And mm. uh, and then the pit hag, uh, which was either Morgan or uh, Writings. I think that would be pretty harsh to evil in that respect. It would be it would be harsh, but also to be fair, they are making a new demon after the demon got killed. So paying a price for that isn't untoward. Well, Alice. how would they? Wouldn't wouldn't in that world if if there was a pit hag between me or Morgan? Wouldn't one of us have been the demon and they kept the twin pair going? Why, so for me, I think there's a Vortox, and that's why you have it too. We're afraid of killing. There's, the there is literally no. There is literally no other way. Uh, well, no. The no, pinhead could switch it, but your number of a two could be wrong because of the Vortox. It's it's also possible the new demon made was a Vortox. Writing to afraid you're still a little bit too. It would oh, have been sorry. done. It's a little bit late to do that. It would almost just be on this. Uh, it would almost just be on my info if that was the case. Or it well, time. I guess that's not true. It would depend on who any. Uh, who the other night infos are, but I don't know how many more night info roles we've had noted around the, the table at this point. Let me give it to I'm probably not long for this world one way or the other. Philip? But, yeah. This world is completely consistent except for one thing, mm-hmm. and that is Morgan detecting a right. demon on the bot side of the Grim, because in order for that to be true, Elise must so, be the demon, and... They detected the demon on the top side. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was on the bottom side. Yeah, yeah, it was no, on the No, I asked if the demon was on the bottom side and got a no, which means the demon um, would be on the top if my information was correct. Which oh, it was yeah. Elise. So. In that case, Ryan okay. as well just be correct. Um, Elise was the demon, the minions are writings, and... Actually, no, it cannot have been writings. Victory Bell? No. Victory Bell's Minion, the, the minions twin. are... Two, three... If yeah, minions least. are victory bell and was writings. I'm assuming. No. <laughs> but there's another. There's another world. Here, actually, that I'm, I wasn't. Yeah, I'm an outsider. I'm the sweetheart. Like I said. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I hear you. But you noting yourself as an outsider, and that's actually a good point. There's another way that there's two. There's no, another I, I, world that there's two, and it might be. Hmm. If they make somebody a demon, let's see, it's arbitrary when they make someone else a demon, right? Yeah. So the... what might have just what also might have happened? Like, oh, <coughs> what might have happened? What also might have happened, Eric? Hear me out on this. Mm-hmm. Is uh, is because who? Because the... what? <laughs> I don't know. Well, hey, Theo, can you explain things? I don't know if I, I can. Guess we gotta, yeah, I, I guess we gotta talk to writings. Alright, see writing. ya. Well, that was a bizarre conversation. <laughs> writings, I have fixed your uh, your voice level on my end, so you should be good. Sorry to bother you with it. If you can hear me. Who? Okay. Oh, but okay. writing is kind of um, no. I don't think so because writing's kind of dealing. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> hey, I What's was going trying on? To fix my audio. Writing's. I got it on my end. You're fine. Uh-huh. Oh, it was on your end. No, I mean okay, I can I adjust was... your audio myself. Yeah. No, so for the stream, for the stream, it's fine. <laughs> hey, hello. Uh, rules question for you. Mm-hmm. Um, so I juggled Morgan as artist. Would she ping for me after she philosopher transformed? A philosopher is a philosopher basically forever. They just gain the ability of another thing, but they are still the philosopher. Okay. So if, she wouldn't so, ping artist so if, if I if, juggle her. Yeah, if there was a philosopher who claimed another role and you juggled them as that other role, you would get a zero. You would have to juggle okay. them as the philosopher. Before or okay. after, they would still be a philosopher, if that makes sense. Yes, okay. it's perfect. Thank you. Great. <laughs> So, if a Vortox was made, would that right, to on. be 
if you're active. <laughs> They're disappearing. I think it would. Yeah, if a vortex ah. was made, that too could be f- false. Would a vortex be made after the original demon kill? Yes. Right. You, if a pit hag was there, they could make any type of demon. Right. And what mechanisms are there? I mean, Philip's probably right about that could cause two players to die. Or the concept is that a lease could have been good and a pit hag just changed the demon in general. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, I don't know. Philip, you have something to say? Yes, I believe I have full salt of the grim. Oh, it's full salt of the grim. I, 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 will, I, I think I might have as well, Philip, but, but by all means, go for it. Okay. Um, I'll start clockwise, starting at 1 a.m. Okay. We have Ryan, the Oracle, Alex, the Clockmaker, Morgan, the one, possibly a minion, possibly an artist. We're not sh- I'm still not sure yet. We have Victory Bell, the evil twin turned new demon. We have Ridings, the artist or minion. We have Eric, who is... Actually, I think the juggler, which is completely wild. I, <laughs> damn, I hate that. <laughs> Why? Oh, why did it have to be this way? Um, we have Micah, who is a mystery to me, but good. We have <laughs> but good. Uh, <laughs> the mathematician, Elise, the vigor mortis, and Catboy, our good twin seamstress, whose information solved the game. And Philip, what would you be in this case? I would be the sage. Interesting. Okay. So I, I actually think I've solved the Grim and I've done it in a way that doesn't make Theo an absolute uh, an absolute jerk for killing an evil player as part of a as part of a pit hag pass. And here 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 is my solve of the Grim. It would be Philip, either the Sage or the Mutant, or currently the Fangu, one of the three. I will get to that in a second. Is Philip, you've given some somewhat outsider vibes here, so it's possible you were an outsider this whole time. Alex the Clockmaker, Morgan the Philosopher turned turned artist, now dead, killed via a uh, Theo trying to hide a, a, a switch uh, with the arbitrary kill last night. Victory Bell, the evil twin, uh, because he tried to give false info to me at one point, uh, noting that me and Eric were on different teams, which at the time wasn't true. Risings, at one point, the pit hag. Writings. Writings, I'm sorry. Writings, at one point, the pit hag, who became the Fangu, and I believe last night chose to kill either Eric or Philip. And what ended up happening is they, (coughs) or he swapped into either Eric or Philip and died when Rysland's pit hagged himself into Fangu, targeted somebody, mm-hmm. and then killed himself by accident, switching to either Eric or Philip. No, I'm not timing out all the way through. Micah? No, no, I know, no, yeah, yeah. Je- Je- Jesse, Jesse, something possibly also an outsider now since they noted they were pit hagged. So they are somebody who may currently be an outsider of unknown description. Elza, uh, the mathematician, at least the formerly one demon or another deceased, and uh, <laughs> and that boy, uh, the good twin, uh, but actually the uh, the scene. And that's my solve of the dwin- in my solve. We would need to do two kills: Victory Bell and either Eric or Philip, or all three we of them. We can do all of them. Well, chat chat knows mm-hmm. who's uh, who's on track. Uh, if it, if either of you, but yeah, Eric. So I want to make one comment. So obviously Elise wasn't the demon. Uh, I believe Elise and Writings are both dead evil players. The problem is we have a clockmaker read of five, which says that the demon is five steps away from its nearest minion. So Elise not being the demon doesn't, which would leave me with either Writings or possibly someone else. If it's Writings as the demon, I can't make Victory Bell as the evil twin. It means Catboy is the evil twin because of the clockmaker read. The That's clockmaker the read would be correct in my world because Elise would have been the demon and Ridings would have been the closest minion, which would have been a five. It's worth noting also that I approached Victory Bell attempting to juggle them, and they were cagey about their character, which is not something I believe someone 
Also, the oh, clock maker. So Victory Bell's no, always paid time. Uh, I, Victory Bell's always paid I was trying to explain before that they, we were talking the day ended. But, I mean, I think for us, we're always cagey. Cause, but if you yeah. weren't a juggler and you're on the evil team, I'm not going to tell you what I am. GTA 3. <laughs> but I, also, I, I yeah. tried to give you a 3 for 3, and you were saying, no, just give me what you are. But yeah. I also find it funny that no one knows what Micah is. Micah? Micah's yeah, I, 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 I just got called Michael the Juggler in my thing. Just Can I, okay, so... Um, it is so odd. I, ha I, have, I have three things. First, at least could have been the demon, because if this is an evil twin game, we don't end until the evil twin's dead, right? Second, the clockmaker claim is only good at the start of the game. If the right. demon jumped, that five yeah. doesn't mean anything now. Correct. Right. Third, I am the juggler... The real juggler. Uh, my first night, I got three correct. Of the two that I know are not correct, one of them is accounted for, the other is not. The one that is not accounted for is Eric. I juggled Eric as the mathematician, which is a role that we have now know Helza has claimed. Mm. Mm. But everyone else I juggled is uh, Alex, Ryan, Philip. I juggled correctly. Morgan is... I juggled incorrectly, but we know where that is now. So, Eric. Uh, okay, Micah. So a couple things. You said you got a one, and you juggled Ryan. Yeah, I lied to you because I don't trust you. <laughs> no. I, also, I've been pretty forthcoming with my role. I'm I'm an outsider. I'm one of the two starting outsider roles. I'm actually the sweetheart. And yeah, you can believe me if you want to go after me. That's fine. I think my world is correct. I think that the evil twin is the only one left. So. Mm. I, Just, my, I agree that Eric and Victory Bell are probably the last bastions of evil. I, I think I think we I think we kill Eric tonight because I think Eric's the Fengu. If there's no deaths tonight, there's no way for anything to pit hag. And then we and then if that's the case, then we off Victory Bell tomorrow. Jesse, okay. that's my that's my yeah. suggestions. <clears throat> Jesse. Oh, I just want to say, because I don't think if I, sh I shared at the beginning, um, my readings for Elise as the Dreamer were Artist and Vigor Mortis. So if that's correct, it was a Vigor Mortis game at the beginning. Which which would have meant that Info was correct, at least until maybe they made a Vortox last night, but they wouldn't have because of what I just went through. There is only oh. one starting outsider, and that would be Eric's claim. Okay. In yeah. that case, that removes yeah. Philip from contention. In I my still world. think Jesse's evil. I'm not. <laughs> I think we made that. Do you I, uh, I nominate Eric. Okay. Uh, you've pretty much covered it, Ryan. Is there anything last thing you want to throw in there? Nope. I've, I've made my case. Okay. Eric. I have a pretty reasonable cue here if you want to go for it. Uh, I don't think I'm the demon. Uh, I think we have two knights left if I'm correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think it was two. Uh, go ahead. We need one more. Okay. One more four hand. To put, four to put Eric on the block. There you go. I, yeah. I think it's a very fun world you've made. I just don't know. Well, what we we'll the nice don't thing is, is that we get to do science tonight no. in the event that nobody science. dies. Mm. All right. Jesse, who do you think it is then enough? when you dreamed? Were you I don't know. Dream once? Well, because I only dreamed once and then I got switched to something yeah. else. I thought you I got ma you were mad that you were the dreamer. No, you said you were the dreamer. No, I was the tonight. dreamer the first night, and then I got switched to something else. But, for what are you then? The evil I'm an outsider. Okay, that's cool. You're an outsider. Cool. I mean, I already told y'all what I am. Yeah, we <laughs> have both you nights. You told me just you're not. I told everyone when I was defending myself last time I was nominated. Mm -hmm. I'm the clutch. Just kill Any? all outsiders. Any other Eric nominations? nominates you Ryan Terry. Eric nominates Ryan Terry. Eric, tell us why. Uh, because I have a claim that Micah, who's the actual juggler, uh, he checked uh, Alex as a clockmaker, Eric as a mathematician, Morgan as the artist, who was the philosopher at the time, uh, Philip as the sage, and Ryan as the oracle. I have a claim from Ryan Terry that Ryan Terry is the oracle. Uh, however, if Alex is both the clockmaker, which I have on my Grim, and Ryan Terry is also the Oracle, which I also have my Grim, those have both been hard claimed, then Micah would have mandatory. Oh, I guess if he's lying to me, I guess then I don't really. Yeah, know that I, I, yeah, I lied right. to you. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> yeah, else so. that I talked to, I told three. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. 
You, I told well, one because I don't trust you. <laughs> well, I was trying to put it together. That's fine. <laughs> Philip, Ryan, and Alex, correct? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is like I told you the crazy. correct juggles that I made. I told you the that juggles yeah. okay. are real. Gotcha. I just okay. told no, you. No, that's that's right. I, take, I take back what I said. I take back what I said. Then I it's have fine. A former demon wishing to kill me. <laughs> no, no, I'll, I'll vote on this. Thank you. <laughs> Anything else you want to add, Eric? Nope. All right. This is on Ryan Terry. Anything you want to add, Ryan Terry? Sorry, I didn't do your defense. Uh, no, I'm I'm the Oracle claimed and backed up by like five different sources at this point. Yeah. <laughs> at least the demon, of course, you'd be voting. I'm not the demon, but I do think we should vote on this. I guess we're not going to get the vote, so I will save my vote. I'll vote. <laughs> Smart. Uh, my, my vote is based was... on bad information. <laughs> I think it was... Write it down and everything. Jesse or Ariel. Well, so... Somebody said, I just assume I Eric is nominate... lying all the time. That's <laughs> yes, true. Jesse? <laughs> Go, Jesse. I want to nominate Victory Bell. Okay, Jesse nominates Victory Bell. Tell us why, Jesse. I just think Victory Bell's either the evil twin or the demon, so we might as well okay. get I, rid I, of I, it. I, and I then don't we can think kill... Victory Bell's currently the demon. But, but if they're the evil twin, then we might as well. Uh, I, I would be I would be careful with that, Jesse. You're you're an outed potential outsider. If there's a Fangu out there, we don't want to give a Fangu a chance to jump to you uh-huh. again. That's true. And in which well, case, we would be forced to do a murder upon you. Uh, Fangu can only jump once. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. It yeah only they, once. It was oh, a yeah. It's, to do it's the, the first. Yeah, it says the first outsider. Yeah. Oh, is that the case? That's I'm good. No, yeah. that's, that's I'm us, an outsider. That's yeah, yeah, you're good. Victory Bell. I was worried about them jumping to you again. But I... they can't jump. It, it's oh, only well, during the night, right? If we execute it out, oh yeah. If you don't want to believe Ryan Terry's first world, it's a pit hag, four talks, that world, then he it's... could have possibly made a Fangu and the Outsiders would still be a threat. In the first world, he's saying, uh, Ryan is saying. <clears throat> because if you if you're Demon dies, you make a pit hag. Pit hag makes another demon, gets a second kill. The demon could be anything, including a fangu. So you'd have a new fangu tonight. Could be anybody. The outsiders would still be in play. If you wanted to believe that. Victory Bell? Oh, I'm I'm not the demon. I'm confused. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how. I, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I was missing out on the cat action. Sorry, Victory Bell. Uh-huh. Tilly's Tilly's oh. uh-huh. <laughs> Put them oh. down. Hey, oh, oh, you jumped cat. up to me. Oh. <laughs> I kid he's over here. Sorry, Victory <laughs> Bell. Mine's napping as well. Anything else you want to add, Victory Bell? Uh, no, no, I'm just super confused. So. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Four to tie, five to execute on Victory Bell. I understand the reasoning of why we should do this one. Lisa, are you using your dead vote? I could. Wow. It's up. Could. All right. It's I'll up. Uh, At least. If we were going to vote coming... on it, we could. <laughs> You're coming spicy here. All right. <laughs> I, got I mean, I'm, I'm not I'm trying dead. to stop you. Just Lisa's if... got, it's got itchy hand finger. I'm going to call it in five seconds. <laughs> oh, before we go to sleep, I would like to make one, one final announcement. Um, if we believe that the Fengu has jumped, then the minimum safe vote for us is five. Otherwise, the evil team can force a tie. It's true. Five seconds. Something to keep in mind. Both the evil team is dead Three. in the world that I believe. They still have ghost votes. One. And Eric yeah. is I mean, executed. Yeah, Alex still has a ghost vote. Right. And dies. And good night, everybody. Of course, you would know that, Elise. You watched it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Right. I think we are just going through the motions now. I think evil is toast, unfortunately. Let's go through and finish this game up real fast. Um, what do we have to do? Not much, I think, anymore. Um, yeah, I, unless they can somehow frame Catboy, this is all over. Hello. Hello. You learn a three. Call that. Good night. Bye.
Oh, that was fast. Oh, that was really morning, uh, Goblin Shire. As your various artists around town are enjoying <laughs> their free time, yeah. there were no deaths in the night. Have a good <gasps> oh, oh, wow. Ooh. Interesting. Ooh. So now we have to make a decision. <laughs> no, it's it's a, it's a hundred percent. Victoryville is the evil we, twin. Yeah, we go yeah. for victory. Are we sure? Yeah, we're yes. sure. nominated. Uh, Cat, Catboy literally nominated Elise, who was, I think was the first demon. Which was yeah, demon because demon. the seamstress yeah. no. claim that matches is that Elise and Victory are the same team. That yeah. didn't yeah. happen. No. I don't remember that happening at all. Pretty yeah. sure that's Alice. Yeah. Ryan, Ryan, nominates <laughs> Ryan nominates Victory Bell. Ryan nominates Victory Bell. Anything you want to add? Uh, we need to make sure, we need to be careful. There's a lot of uh, evil uh, dead boats around. We need to put a lot on here. Layer it up. Victory Bell. Oh. I'm not okay. a demon. I don't know what's going no, on. We know. Why are we still alive? Why are we still, alive? Why are we still like playing? Because <clears throat> when we, if both of us are alive, good cannot win. Uh -huh. Vafels says you're evil. Ooh, you, wow. have to, you have to listen oh, to the well, then. Yes. <laughs> Three oh, is must be honored. Are you going to kill your own? Wow, this is a lot of flesh and blood. <laughs> Join, us, nah, Alex. Alex. Join us, Alex. Join us, Alex. Alex, um, Alex doesn't want to vote on this because Alex is evil. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh, I just did it. Uh, All right. Just too quick. I, <laughs> Elise, throw out those accusations. I don't think nine. I've got can nothing be better beat. to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, cannot be beat. Victory Bell is executed and dies. And the game is over. And congratulations go to the good team. Yay! Yay! Oh, that was a rough go from evil from the very beginning. Um, let's that start. Clockmaker 5, man. That Clockmaker 5. So, clockmaker five uh, yeah, big. so I'll go through the Grimble fast. Yeah, we had a Clockmaker who uh, was told yep. everybody got sober and accurate information So in this game. Our Clockmaker got a 5, which we'll come back to in a second. Uh, we had Helza, who uh, told us as the mathematician that everything went mm. right on the first day, which was true. Uh, mm. We had Jesse, our starting um, dreamer, uh, later turned klutz, uh, who hey. just happened to snipe Elise on day That's one. Nice. And didn't know nice. Elise. Nice. <laughs> Did not know what Elise's bluff was going to be. I just took a stab at doing artist. I'm so sorry. And so said Vigor Mortis artist, but that was complete. Uh, yeah, this got caught up in that, unfortunately. Uh, then we had uh, Catboy, who was our good twin seamstress mm -hmm. with Victory Bell's evil twin. And Catboy was sussed onto Elise 2 and compared his known evil twin to Elise and was told that they are on the same team. So pretty damning there yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very good snipe good by Catboy. We had our philosopher Morgan, who used their ability on uh, night two, night night two to become the artist and asked about the demon being on the bottom side of the map which was not the case uh so was told a no accurately um we had philip our sage who was able to do a lot of good investigative work um but was unable to die in the night but it ended up not being necessary uh had a pretty good read of the grim here uh we had a very good read of the grim from ryan terry our oracle uh, who nailed nice. just about everyone completely accurately, including writings are starting <laughs> Pit Hag, uh, who Pit Hag themselves. Nice. So first of all, Pit Hag Jesse into the klutz to get rid of that dreamer, uh, and then. Not to be fair, I had no idea what Jesse was. I just night. cold clocked klutz. I was originally going to pick Ryan, but I thought if I switched Ryan based on our conversation, he would come after me hard. Because <laughs> um, he gave I, I two demons. Guessed. Because he gave me two demon bluffs and his role. <laughs> so, so, oh, well. Riding okay. Spit Hagged himself into the Fangu and promptly jumped into Eric, our sweetheart. Uh, and unfortunately, I, I decided that I was going to give an extra death in the night to try to trigger a thing being made. And it was a debate between killing kind of at that point the non-functional morgan who had already used their ability uh there was some talk about maybe doing uh ryan terry as the oracle um which i thought was a little harsh on good but if we wanted to continue the game it might have helped a little bit because ryan terry yeah. got the damning information uh, but at that point i kind of think 
Good had earned it. Like, I didn't want to be too, like, counterbalancing. Like, Good just had a banger of a game, and Evil mm. didn't do anything wrong. Evil, like, killed off the mathematician, got rid of the dreamer, like, did things pretty much yeah. well, but just got sniped. And it just sometimes happens in this game. Uh, we yes. did have Micah, our juggler, who did a very good juggle, correctly got three. Uh, Morgan just missed out on yeah. the philosopher. And Which then, is, like, crazy. And then also, technically got four. I guess also called off Eric in a lie, uh, which uh, led to Eric getting a little bit more sus on him at the end. Uh, and of course, we had at least our starting Vigor Mortis, who just got dealt the worst hand possible. So, yeah, so I was Eric. fucked. I was Sorry. fucked the moment I turned a figure. I was like, I got the world. I know writings and Elise were on the same team. And then it, and then you comes to me and nights like, so you're now the thank you. Look, like, Demon oh, Bluff's fuck. oddest out of out of Flower Girl, Snake Charmer, and Artist. Theo. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I've actually done that before, and it was very effective. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, 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 what I, I, what I, game I, was that, Morgan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least it was just a, a shot in the dark for me. Demon Bless That's Snake so Charmer, time. Flower Girl, uh, Flower Girl, and Artist, and yeah. I don't know. I just thought that maybe you would take something that wouldn't be too complicated to keep up with with that Flower Girl, something kind so of fair. in the middle of the road. But yeah, I, Sorry, you know, Eric, I was bluffing Phil Flower Girl. Didn't didn't read the votes. Completely forgot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Philip <laughs> noted that you were probably the outsider in the beginning so i was like when jesse said that they got changed i was like well can't jump to jesse now <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah i yeah I, I think it was ryan or maybe philip and ryan but yeah i definitely was playing like an outsider and i shouldn't have i was trying to keep it down low i was hoping with the juggler read on elise when i was claiming elise was all four demons i hope that would give me some clearance because i knew elise was the demon i was trying to cover for micah who i knew was the juggler i was legitimately playing like on the good team like i was like legitimately i was Whispering Mike, I'm telling him all like plans. Like, okay, I think I got to figure it out. Jesse's Dreamer Ping batches with Elise, and then we got Catboy Seamstress. Okay, we know this. And then Theo comes to me and I says, "Yep, you're on the evil team." Yeah, yeah uh, and, and I, you I was before you're down the clown, so I thought it'd be I, uh, okay to make you join the evil no, team. It, no, I, was, I loved it, but yeah, I was not totally convinced you were evil, but I wasn't. When I could yeah. confirm that you weren't. The mathematician like officially confirmed that you had lied about that i was like uh, i don't know if i can trust you yet so i'm I gonna lie about claim. my my thing i, can't I have no idea Eric, how did you how did you know that Elise was the demon because okay so we had jesse who was the out i believe jesse at the start i jesse fully i fully read elise as the demon yeah, <laughs> yeah. jesse nailed it and then and then catboys actually independently confirmed it as far as i could tell catboy and jesse weren't working like together like this was like two independent reads that at least is definitely on the evil teams i believe catboy was on the good team so you have an evil pink from jesse an evil pink from catboy all pointing to elise and after and then after that you put the clockmaker read with five with writings that made my world work and then the fact that they jumped together day one like immediately <laughs> was, yeah she okay. messaged me right off the bat i'm like i really shouldn't do this but okay oh i like yeah, I, I pick random people to go talk to that's, that's fair cool. and, and also that's morgan there was one other thing morgan also had the demon in top half thing which also went into yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. i did i did have one other idea before switching to fangu and it would have been more for shenanigans i thought about turning catboy into a vortex Ooh. having a good vortex in the yeah. twin pair and see how you guys have that conversation wait but then well then i don't know what that would have well, well it's cat no, 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 that's what i mean just to confuse ties. Just wait, so who, who, but who would be the deep like so you, if would, I'm be the demon. The, you would be the demon but you would be good and you would have and to would convince have... town to kill you, or you could kill yourself. When Victory Bell was oh. the evil twin, and you two could maybe argue back and forth, and give oh, me another is... day to make something else. It, it also it also would give you an opportunity to mess up, Catboy, because if you chose yeah. to, uh, it would also give you an opportunity to to flub it through rules, it, uh, lack of knowledge. Because in the event that you where de made the demon you and like kind of had a conversation like well the good demon could just kill themselves you might just in the night choose yourself to die and if you did that you would accidentally cost good the game because, because if the good twin dies yeah, while it must be execution oh it is it execution yeah. It must be execution. Yeah, oh, it be okay. it's actually the opposite. I'm Nothing is I just thought it, I thought it might cause enough confusion to give us another day or two, but I was mm -hmm. like, I don't see it as a long-term 
solution. Right. Right. So and, well, I, I, I went back and forth between the two ideas. Let me go ahead and start wrapping it up for really our. Well. I'm sorry, Elise. Oh, I just said, I think good played really well that game. Yeah, it was just yeah. a, a banger by good. I, I wanted to add real quick that, yeah, Vigor Mortis is one of those demons that takes a little while to ramp up. You know, they start yeah. off as a, yeah. a glass cannon. Like they are easy to knock off unless they can get something rolling, killing demons, poisoning people. And if they get off to a bad start, it's just hard for Vigor. But uh, I wanted to give it a try. Uh, but yeah, uh, y'all feel free to stick around and um, talk whatever, as you like. We are going to go raid Maddo Cat, one of our buddies from uh, over at um, Morakai, uh, Malachi's stream. I'm tired. Yeah. Time. But thank you all for joining us today. Uh, Philip, Ryan, Terry, Alex, Morgan, Victory Bell, Writings, Eric, Micah Draws, Jesse, Helza, Elise, Catboy, uh, the Tian Job books, which is worked on by Philip and Alex, and my partner Grady uh, is coming out very soon here. Uh, so go check that out over at paizo.com. We have a video preview over at the Gallant Goblin. We also have 20 plus games over at the Gallant Goblin on YouTube. You can go back and watch mm. if you want to. Um, and go check out Micah Draws' Kickstarter, which Grady posted in chat. If Grady's still there, maybe he can post it again. What's it called again, Micah Draws? The Monster Men Coloring Book, full of pinups of sexy monster guys. Uh, Elise and Writings have their videos of the stream. I don't know if they're going to want to post them or not. But... I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's an interesting <laughs> yeah, we'll perspective to share. It is an interesting it's perspective. It's just fuck, 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 fuck. No, no. <laughs> well, no. I, I want to thank Alex for, like, if without Alex's information, I wouldn't have had, like, like, I couldn't have run with anything. So thank you, Alex. Awesome. Yeah, and go check <laughs> out Alex. Thank Alex's you for his information. Just put it out there. Just yeah, doing the combination the Lord's of a seamstress with a known evil set lets you do some yeah. some strong. That, that yeah, seamstress that was, five, the, the clockmaker five plus seamstress. You comboing that so quickly was. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that clockmaker five was really rough. Yeah, that was but, rough. Yeah, yeah it was really good. Yes. Um, but yeah, yeah check boy, out Elixir boy. Lease over on YouTube and Hit List Video over on YouTube for writings. Mm -hmm. um, anybody else have anything that I didn't plug yet? Uh, Jesse's been doing some fun stuff with oh, us soon oh, here too with Kingmaker uh, for Pathfinder. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Okay. Loki comes to join us at the very hey, end. Hey, kitties. Aww. The kitty stream. Hey. All Love right. Kitty. Try to find mine. Thank you. We're going to go raid Maddo Cat. But until next week, uh, y'all stay safe, have fun, and love each other. And we will see y'all next week at same bat time, same bat channel. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.